This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question from a user about using the Move Transpose line to mask your model. So inside of ZBrush, we have numerous ways to mask an object. You can first just paint on your model by holding Control and painting. You can hold Control and drag on the actual canvas to get a mask box. But then there's also a mode in which you can use inside of the transpose move brush to mask your model with. So to get this function to work, here I just have earthquake loaded in. I'm just gonna come across the model here and hold control and simply drag with that move transpose line selected. And as you can see, as I'm dragging out, this is masking that model based on that transpose line. So this is really handy to come through and mask different areas. So if I just want to mask everything but fist of earthquake here, I can just come through and quickly do that with that move transpose line and holding control. So the process again is just hold control, make sure you have that move transpose line selected, and simply click and drag, and it's going to mask that area out. Now if you're going to use this process to deform your mesh, you also probably want to step down subdivisions a little bit as well, or you perform any rotate functions. So I'm going to come over to the Geometry tab here and scale this down to, say, Subdivision 2 or 3 on Earthquake. And now I'm make sure I'm still in that Move Transpose line. I'm going to click and drag out to mask Earthquake up to, say, his wrist here. And you can do this multiple times if needed, like so. Process that a little bit further, so right about there. And I'm going to switch to the Rotate Brush, draw a transpose line out roughly at his wrist and then just rotate that like so, and then maybe switch back to move and reposition it as well. So end up with something like this. A little bit crazy uh, rotation there. His wrist is gonna be hurting a little bit. Then I can go back to draw mode and then scale up my subdivision levels. And you're gonna notice that all those details we had originally are back on the model. So that's a quick tip on using the move transpose option along with control to come through and mask out areas on your model. If you have any other questions about any functionality inside of ZBrush, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Hope this helps and happy ZBrushing.